Here is my flat terrain. You can choose any map you want. And then you can watch my other video if you don't know how to make a part. But if you do, then make a sphere. Make a sphere. I made mine red because red is my favorite color. So here's my sphere. Now I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. And the most important thing is when you click on your spear, you're, you're not, if it's showing you this highlighted anchor, like in a dark sign, you have to keep it the same color as the rest. If you do not do that, then it'll not be a ball. That's the main part. So now I'm just gonna click play and I'm gonna start. Let's see if the ball rolls. No anchoring the ball or else it won't work. That's the most important part of making a ball. I'm gonna do a big giveaway from one of my other videos. I'm gonna teach you how to make a spawn location. Go to the model tab on the top of your screen and click spawn over here. Now your spawn location is always anchored. It's hard to find it sometimes. So let me see if I can find it. I'm gonna open my Explorer, very small, and they spawn way away. So the easiest way of doing this is going to the home tab or literally any tab, and you can open the loop toolbox and there's this neutral spawn location. This spawns right in front of you. So now you can just put it over here and I'm definitely, no matter what, gonna spawn over there. So, and I'm gonna open my game and test it out. If you don't know how to save your game and you do tons of hard work and you can't, you can look at my one of my other videos that can teach you how to do that. Oh, I'm invisible. Okay, so here's my ball. It's not anchored. Look, I can push it. Now, if you want it to be pushed more easily, you can make it smaller. And if you want it to be pushed with more effort, you can make it bigger. See, it's a bit hard for me. So I have a good idea. I'm gonna stop this. I found the stop button up there. And my Roblox Studio stopped working. That happens sometimes. I'm gonna save my game. Okay, so here's my ball. I think it's too big because it was being hard for me to catch. So how about this small ball? Now I think I like it. Now I'm gonna try to play again. I think it should be around like half the size of player. That makes it easy to move around. So now it's loading. Here's my ball. Oh, yay, I kicked my ball. So that's how you can make balls. You can put different textures on them and different colors. This is sort of like a soccer ball I used in another game. So it might take a while to stop them. So you can make them a bit bigger so that's easier to stop them. And that's all for today's video. Uh, bye and thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.